A new FDA-approved procedure called histotripsy uh, allows doctors to treat liver tumors using sound waves. It allows precision without cuts, shorter recovery times, and more benefits. And that therapy was invented at the University of Michigan. And to tell us more about it, we've invited via Zoom today Dr. Bradley Jackson, an interventional radiologist with Providence St. Jude Medical Center's Crossan Cancer Institute. That's in Fullerton. We really appreciate you spending some time with us today. Hi. Hi, thank you so much for having me on and allowing me the opportunity to discuss this exciting new treatment. All right, let's start out just very basic. What is histotripsy? Yeah, so histotripsy is a revolutionary new treatment for liver tumors. And the treatment allows us to treat malignant or cancerous tumors of the liver, as well as metastatic tumors or tumor, cancerous tumors that have spread from other parts of the body to the liver and benign or non-cancerous tumors of the liver. And the really amazing, exciting thing about this new treatment is that it is completely non-invasive. So we're able to destroy these liver tumors without undergoing surgery, any incisions, so much as even a needle. So we're really excited about this new treatment. Well, that sounds pretty amazing, but exactly how does it work? Yeah, so histotripsy is an FDA-approved revolutionary new technology that takes high energy focused ultrasound waves and we're able to focus those ultrasound waves within the tumor and when we do that these ultrasound waves cause tiny bubbles to create within the tumor and these bubbles rapidly expand and collapse and cause the tumor cells to literally rupture or burst mm -hmm. and essentially liquefy the treatment is performed with a system that is guided by a robotically assisted arm that a physician guides in under advanced imaging techniques and we're able to then target and destroy the tumor. Wow, so you specify and go into the liver there and then how does it affect the liver actually after you um, use this, uh, this tool? Yeah, great question. So because it's completely non-invasive and we're using ultrasound waves, the surrounding portions of the liver are completely unharmed. So it really is essentially allowing us to almost take an ultra precise scalpel and go in and carve out that liver tumor and leave the rest of the liver, healthy liver tissue intact and vital structures within the liver like blood vessels and other, other uh, structures are left completely unharmed by this treatment. And so that allows the patient to really have a faster recovery from this procedure as well. So it's basically liquefied, but where does that liquefied tumor, how does it leave the body? Yeah, so the body can easily remove that liquefied, those liquefied cells from the liver. And that prevents those cells from being able to spread or regrow. And then that area within the liver will slowly kind of scar down and collapse over, over the next, you know, multiple months and patients will get follow-up imaging to make sure that that area has been completely destroyed with this treatment. So who's the, the candidate for this procedure and is it outpatient or is it a hospital stay? Yeah, so essentially any patient who has a liver tumor or liver cancer is a potential candidate. So for those patients, I recommend that they have a consultation with a specially trained physician in histotripsy to really determine the exact feasibility for their specific case. And the, patient, the procedure is, because it's non-invasive, another great feature is that it is essentially an outpatient procedure. So patients are almost always essentially able to return home that same day and it allows for a much quicker recovery for those patients. Can this be used on any other type of cancer? Yeah, so that's uh, another great question. Currently it is FDA approved for use in liver tumors only, but it is under current FDA review to be used in kidney tumors as well. And so we're hoping that it's gonna allow that same great benefits that we can have for patients with liver tumors to also treat kidney tumors as well. And then there are research trials ongoing right now to use this in tumors of the pancreas, which is notoriously a very difficult area to treat. So there's a lot of buzz in the cancer oncology community yeah. for the future of this treatment. And from there, there's potential for this to be used 
in treating tumors of the breast, the prostate, the thyroid, even the brain. So this technology is extremely powerful and we're very excited for what the future holds. Well, that buzz is understandable. Thank you so much, Dr. Bradley Jackson. We appreciate you being here and for all the information. Thank you so much for having me. And if you would like more information, you can head over to providence.org. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.